Hey guys, it's Tracy again, Kansas Garden Guy, Summer Pick Farms. We are, as you can see in the background, getting ready to bend the hoops. So we're just going to do a short video here, and um, I'm going to show you how we get these bent. Let me turn the camera around. Oh, hey. What we got here is we went out and bought the inch and three-eighths top rail. This is basically just chain link fence top rail that you can get at any local home, uh, home store. We happen to get ours from one here in town. Um, as you can see, we've got one piece set up there, and we've got all the bottom rails in right now. So we have bent everything up. It's all laying over there on the ground, so we're just going to show you in these last three pieces. So everything um, that I did, I've got the kit from Bootstrap Farmer. So if you look, we have the pipe bender from Bootstrap Farmer. All we did there is I went ahead and bolted it to a 2x6, and then we just lag bolted it into this old tree that I have in my driveway. And um, you want it someplace sturdy, either on an old barn or a building, and all I've got is metal buildings, so I didn't want to put it on any of those. So what we decided to do was I've got this old Chinese elm tree in the driveway that's been hit by lightning three or four times, and it really needs to be cut down, but it's kind of so tall now we're kind of scared of cutting it down by ourselves. But anyway, so what we did was we just put 9 16 lag bolts, 8-inch lag bolts into this tree here and mounted the pipe bender to it. And then this is how we're going to bend the top rail. The first thing on this top rail is it all comes in 10-foot sections. And um, since I'm doing the 20-foot wide kit, I have to have three sections of top rail, which is 30 feet, to make my 11-foot uh, hoop. So uh, what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is on this top rail, you've got a swagged end here that actually would be a male sliding into the bottom of this post, which is the female. So what you want to do from the instructions on the bootstrap farmer is you want to measure from the top of that post down nine inches and make a mark. Robert, you want to go ahead and put that one in there? Got my buddy Robert helping me today. <clears throat> As you can see, he's putting it inside of the bender and that mark is right there. So you can either put the mark here or on this side. We've been using the mark right here. So we're just setting the mark pretty close. Okay, hold that Robert and I'm gonna put the camera up. I'm gonna put this camera back on the stand. It, they say you can do this. Um, they say you can do this with one person, but we found it's a lot easier. One person can do it, that's for sure, but you definitely do not want these poles twisting on you while you're doing it. So what we're doing is we started on that nine inch mark and about every 18 inches or so, we're moving down and I'm making sure this is staying straight and he's pulling down. And what we're doing is we're making a perfect arc out of this. And the cheater pipe that he's using right now does come with this bender. All right, go ahead. So you just want to make sure this, I think this second person holding this pull tot makes it a lot easier on the guy pulling the bender. And he's not putting a lot of force into this. You can see it's it's pretty easy to bend this stuff, so you don't want to over bend it. All right, guys, and that's all it is to bend in these pipes. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these pipes um, screwed together. And then the, on the next video, you're gonna see us putting them onto the hoop house. Thanks guys. Hey guys, it's Tracy here. Uh, Kansas Garden Guy, Summer Pick Farms. Hey, uh, sorry I haven't put a video out in a while about this hoop house. Um, it's been raining here for like four days in a row. We literally went from 95 to 96 degree weather to 50 degree weather overnight just like that <clears throat> we this is the fourth day um, of cold weather and rain so it stopped raining this morning so i figured i'd come out here and uh, do a little bit of work on the hoop house as you can see uh, i've got this retarped now and i've got the hoops put together so in the last section of the video um, you'll see us bending the hoops and all we did was stuck those three pieces together and i put uh inch long coated outdoor exterior coated sheet metal screws made for putting uh, sheet metal roofing on a house or a barn or something like that. It's got a rubber gasket on it to try to keep the water out. 
all I did is screwed those pieces together. I've got them laid over here on the grass. Uh, actually, I'm doing this by myself. Uh, my wife is at work and I really don't have anybody to call to come help me. So I've started doing these. I've done the last 10 or 12 by myself and they've worked out great. Yes, in an ideal world, you would want two people to do this to help you out, but you can do this with one person. So don't think that you cannot do jobs by yourself because you can. You just have to know your limitations. So I'm gonna get started on this uh, and then we're gonna get this finished and then you guys can take a look at what it's gonna look like when it's done.
We only got one more, guys, to do. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, guys, look how big this is. This is amazing. I am so stoked right now. It's starting to get cooler here in Kansas. Um, we'll go over what's going on over here in a second. Look at this, guys. I actually made this uh, five foot longer than what it's supposed to be. So it's actually a 20 foot wide, 13 foot tall, or I guess it's 13 six tall by 65 feet wide or 65 feet long. Look at this guys. Yes, the poles are a little uneven. Um, if you look down the row here, some of them are a little curved different. Some of them are a little higher than others and that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. They tell you that in the instructions uh, when you do the bootstrap farmer DIY kit that not all the poles are gonna be bent the same. What you've got to do is you've got to run a purlin, which is a center set of poles all the way down from the last pole to the last pole and then you have braces that go in between that tie those together and what you do is you put somebody on a ladder up here on the end looking up over the top and then they have two people down below and they either pick up on this side to scoot it this way or the opposite side and then you have somebody in the middle tighten up the brackets as you go down the line um, I've got the purlins in the garage right now I do not have the purlin brackets. I just ordered those two days ago. I only need 17 to go this way, but my idea was when I was talking to Piper from Bootstrap Farmer, um, by the way, if you guys ever have any questions, if you call that number for Bootstrap Farmer, um, you'll either get Piper or you'll get two other ladies. I happen to get Piper, and you see her on some of the videos for Bootstrap Farmer videos, and uh, she's very knowledgeable. She helped me out a lot on deciding on which way I was gonna go here, what was gonna work for us in Kansas. They're out of Texas, just north of Dallas, so their weather's a little different than ours. And so uh, she was asking me what I wanted to get accomplished here. Great people to work with, guys. I mean, phenomenal people to work with. We'll put the purlins up. I'll have to get a couple people to help on that. But right now, guys, I am so freaking stoked. I mean, as you can see, the minion is even stoked. That's how stoked he is to see this happening. I mean, look at this, guys. <clears throat> We've got the landscaping fabric down to keep the weeds away so I can mow up against it and not have the weeds in the hoop house. We've got all 17 hoops up right now. I am so stoked. So stoked. <clears throat> but uh, we've got our farmer's market tomorrow. So we are on the way out. We are we sold out on cucumbers. We have sold out on watermelons. We've sold out on cantaloupe. Uh, we've sold out on slicer tomatoes. We do have a lot of cherry tomatoes and peppers and a ton of okra coming on. So tomorrow is going to be one of our, I think we got one or two more markets and that will be the end. So we're going to try to get everything sold. So I was trying to get this done so I can get this off my grass. It's actually been laying in my yard and I've been trying to mow around it uh, for the last week, week and a half now. So I wanted to get it up. I wanted to see if I could do it by myself. Like I said, if you're not comfortable doing it by yourself, please get someone to help you. I, I'm used to doing stuff by myself. My wife gets mad at me when I, when I do stuff like this by myself. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just, you're a one-man show. You got to do what you got to do. I mean, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Um... But man, this looks amazing. <laughs> 